Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. It's Tuesday. We've got an early review of Black Order number one out this Wednesday from Marvel Comics. Now, Black Order number one is a limited series. It's uh, spun out of the No Surrender storyline. And for those that don't know, the Black Order was uh, was Thanos's well, kind of like his chief enforcers. These are like the baddest of the bad. Really cool uh, villains. You've seen him recently in Avengers: Infinity War. And this puts them in the spotlight uh, for folks to check out. What you need to know is that uh, Thanos is kind of doing his own thing. The Black Order was snatched by this uh, character named the Grandmaster to uh, do some fighting for him, uh, to win the title of Grandmaster from the old Grandmaster, and now uh, after that battle is over, he has sent the Black Order off on a mission to destabilize this alien race. We don't know why. We don't know who this really alien race is. We don't know the big picture. We don't know a hell of a lot. But the, the issue is really kind of focusing on who the Black Order is, what their interaction is like, uh, how these characters stand out from each other, and uh, kind of giving us somewhat of a status quo about them. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, the comic is an interesting one. It's, uh, it's not a bad spot to start off. You don't really need to know anything about the No Surrender stuff or the Grandmaster or anything like that. Uh, if you are coming from Avengers Infinity War, you'll actually be pretty much, I think, generally fine reading this comic. Uh, this is actually... I, I, I'm going to already say this is clearly created because of Avengers Infinity War. Uh, the, the popularity of the characters, and I think the audience really enjoy them as far as villains... So this is a nice opportunity for uh, them to spin out. I'm a little surprised this didn't come out earlier, since No Surrender has been over for, for quite some time, and I think it was quite clear that they were really popular. So uh, the delay is, is kind of weird. But uh, you know this is one, I think, for the film fans to check out. Now, if you're a comic fan coming from that direction, you should be very happy with the issue. Uh, it definitely picks up from No Surrender. There's this nice mystery about it. And uh, the... The writing is, I think, kind of fascinating. So, it uh, it's it's done from a perspective of one of the members of the Black Order who's just kind of pondering the different roles of all the characters, all the all the the team members, and um, and it's 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 interesting in that it puts them in perspective and allows us, the reader, to clearly understand who they are. Um, it's all it's. A little bit tell not show but there are some aspects to it I think uh, I hadn't thought of before when it comes to that so that part was was pretty interesting uh, it's you know a big kind of giant cosmic adventure so I don't know where it's going or how things are uh, gonna stack up but uh, for me that's it's fairly interesting um, the art is 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 decent I, I dug the style um, there's something there's something to it that I think really kind of works uh, I don't know quite how to describe it, uh, but you know it's it's kind of over the top. It, there's nothing like there's nothing that really jumps out of me as super crazy as far as like panels or anything like that. But overall, it's just a, it's just solid art, entertaining, cool designs. Uh, the action's good. Uh, there might be a little things here and there where it's kind of hard to tell what exactly is going on, but I think the art's pretty solid. Uh, this is an interesting one. You know, I wasn't sure what to expect. I, I, I think going into it, maybe I was thinking that this would be kind of a throwaway uh, miniseries for, uh, to, to cap capitalize on uh, Avengers Infinity War. But, you know, it, it's, it's a step above that. Uh, this feels like it's, it's tied in really well in the continuity. Um, and we'll see where it goes. Like, I'm really hoping something comes out of this. And, uh, you know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing where the series goes from here. So this is out in comic shops tomorrow, this Wednesday, uh, November 13th. Uh, sorry, November 14th. Uh, you can go get in comic shops. As always, support your comic shop, first and foremost. If you don't know if you have a shop near you, we've got a link uh, where you can put in your zip code. I'll tell you if shop's near you, no shop, no problem. We've got affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage of that. I do want to thank... Uh, uh, Marvel forking us up with a review copy. We always appreciate the support. Uh, always, uh, it's it's much much appreciated. And thank you for watching. Uh, now, if you're into Marvel, if you're into comics, if you uh, are into Black Order or Avengers: Infinity War, Thanos, whatever, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, 
all graphic policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.